Well, President Trump's youngest son or younger son, Eric Trump, stops by One American News studio to discuss how his father's changed the Republican Party and how the old guard has had to adjust. Here's One America's Christina Bob with more. So you have middle American Democrats who chose the party because they liked the party's sure. politics. And even your family has some history with the Democratic yeah, Party. Sure. How do those Americans get their party back? Yeah. And, and by the way, I think, you know, um, you know, so some of the policies that have been very historical for Republicans, I think my father's actually changed the platform um, a lot. I, th mm -hmm. I think my father's, I think the Republican platform has almost become the, the you know, the, the Trump platform now. And there's, there's massive changes if you, yeah. if you go back, you know, um, you know, 8, 12, you know, 16 years. You also look at the Democratic Party, and, and I can tell you the, the radical left today is not the party of JFK. This is, this is not the party of even Bill Clinton. I mean, this is, a, this is an unrecognizable party. Bill Clinton never would have said, let's defund the police. Bill Clinton would have never called you know, police officers or compared them to the KKK. Bill Clinton would have never said, you know what, you know, let, let's raise taxes by $4 trillion. Dollars, right? I mean, it's a different party today versus then. You've got the squad, you've got Elon Omar, you've got AOC. The proposals are reckless. Green New Deal, $90 trillion, would bankrupt this country from day one. So, I mean, I really believe the Democratic Party of, 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 of four years ago, eight years ago, was simply incompetent, right? These are people that are giving $150 billion to Iran. They were incompetent people. Bad GDP growth, bad job numbers, NAFTA sent all our jobs overseas. They were incompetent. You look at the party today, and it's not incompetent. I mean, some of the things that they stand for are fundamentally un-American. I, and I, I hate to say it that way, but, but, but it is. This is a radical party. This is, it's unrecognizable to the JFKs. JFK would be solidly in our court these days. And so whenever I hear somebody come out and say, you know, well, my, you know, my family's always been Democratic, it's, I guarantee you your grandmother or grandfather, you know, who was voting for JFK back in the day, I guarantee you they'd be on this team now because, again, it's, um, they've just turned so... Uh, this is un un unrecognizable. It's the only way to say it. They're yeah, just unrecognizable. There's a lot more Marxist policies in the Democratic yeah. Party that are that are mainstream Democrat now. So uh, we talked about this briefly, but um, your dad really has kind of changed to the Republican Party. You mentioned it, it's really a Republican Party of Trump today, sure. which is vastly different than even just four or eight years ago. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how he has changed yeah. the party? Well, listen, I think, first of all, he's, he's taught um, Republicans, and, and frankly, I think he's taught uh, people in Washington, D.C., politicians, how to fight. Um, a, we're not going to get used and abused by China. We're not going to get used and abused by Mexico. Uh, we're not going to get ripped off by NATO. You know, Republicans were, hey, they, you know, they were always for the economy. They were always for jobs. But they were never taking on China either. And, you know, um, Democrats certainly were. They, were. they were certainly weaker in that they handed all of our manufacturing jobs off to, you know, the countries around the world and, you know, countries just south of our border. And, um, but I really think my father's taught those, you know, those, those you know, those politicians how to fight, yeah. when to fight, what's acceptable, what's not acceptable. I think he's actually done a very good job educating people who aren't keyed into politics every single day on how we were getting ripped off as a country. And I think that will do a great service um, to this nation for a long time to come. I think China will never have the standing that it used to have. They'll never be able to pull the wool over our head like like they had for years. And same thing with Mexico, and same thing with bad trade deals, and same thing with. Uh, you know, us exporting our cars and being, you know, being paying massive tariffs when they go overseas, and then them dumping their product in our country, and them not paying anything for it. I mean, I, I literally mm -hmm. think he's um, he's taught politicians a lot about just common sense economics and, and, and the way the world should be run. And um, I think that will transcend for for generations in politics. Thank you so much for your time. Thank I you. really appreciate you coming on. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.